Panzer IV is advancing. We have Stukas. Look at that strength. Just amazing stuff right there. As Hello everyone, I'm GreatShot17 and today I'm covering a 3, no, 4v4, uh, sorry, look to the left real quick, almost can't count, uh, but a 4v4 replay, uh, that is on the winter line. Been a while since we covered a replay on this map, but hey, uh, should be interesting. We got ourselves a number of key combatants, including Marshall, Boris, Rudy, The Sail, uh, Trank, uh, Heel, Norse, uh, Big, uh, Yuri Monty and Marshall. So we'll see how this goes. We have three Vermok and one Doc versus three Brits and an American. So pretty even split. We've already had units drop, but it looks like in this case the Falshin Pioneers drop first, but the MG managed to get in the building. So, uh, yeah, uh, the Sol, you, sh you should have gotten the building before the MG. Now, again, you can maybe run around back and forth here. Again, uh, you can see here the MG is constantly trying to set up so as long as he keeps moving he can just go back and forth and not be pinned but again that requires a lot of micros so so long as he keeps it up should be interesting now if you can do something awesome or have skill like this submit uh to my discord or my gmail uh the code 3 replay you don't know how you can extract it and i do have a guide on my channel to do, show exactly how you do that let's see uh Okay, we got some scout forces jumping on in. Again, the uh, the Falsham Pioneers are actually still holding decently well. They're down a lot on health, but they're still uh, packing a decent punch. But now we have engineers moving on in. And that's all thanks to uh, your Monty. So, uh, looks like, again, the he's doing the best he can. But, uh, yeah, I don't think these Falsham Pioneers are going to be able to stay much longer. Yep, there goes the model. The rest are very low except for one. He's going to throw a grenade. That could be... Oh, he's not getting out, is he? He did not get out. Uh, two units KO'd. And Falsham Pioneer continues his trek. So, that is a win. That is an absolute win for the uh, Wehrmacht and, uh, well, just German forces in the north. Now, down south, uh, how are things looking? Well, we have multiple MGs set up to kind of cover the line so the Germans can't easily move in. With British forces advancing. The victory points being controlled, but... And the MG's kind of stopping the Germans... Oh, sorry, Germans. The British uh, force from pushing in further. So, good job on Boris for holding on to that sector. Up north, up on the hill, we got ourselves American forces uh, trying their best. Wait, hold on. Is that... Did I miss... No, no. There's definitely... Oh, two American, two Brits. I was like, wait a second. I, I misspoke somehow. And yeah, I did. I, I said there was three Brits. There are actually two with an American in the south. Which, this American, by the way, good job on Trey Keel. He's definitely not healing this man. He's definitely put bullets into his face and forcing the MG away. So excellent flank on his part. 4x4 four four, continuing the pressure. He's outside cover, so additional damage will do a lot more on him, as you can tell. Uh, but... Fortunately, he's going for suppression on the Rifleman. Bigger threat. The 4x4, again, you can easily swat away with the MG fire. And right now, it looks like uh, the additional Rifleman and stuff are just going to try to pick the Grenadiers rather than push all the way in against the MG. He'll need mortars or something uh, more, uh, you know, heavy to come on in to deal with it. We do have something for the Germans coming on. Is this strafe? Really? That's an early strafe from the sale. Again, not bad. He's coming in to help his team. That's the Stuka Strafe 50 munition, so it's not too expensive. But it is something to wear that is fascinating. Oops, sorry. It is a little fascinating on that reproach. But Marshall's forces will continue to press. Try to retake the, uh, well, capture point. Right now, the Germans are down about eh, 37 points. But again, uh, if they can push and take the north, they can change things in their favor. British placing defensive lines. Lots of MG scattered about. Actually, hold on. Uh, this British man, uh, Nors, he has three MGs. I, I, I saw that because he had one in the north. So he is covering everyone as much as possible with MG fire. Not a terrible idea. Just it definitely puts you in a situation where if they flank, you can definitely be in serious harm's way. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, we got Boris as well. Uh, being the rat he is going with an MG focus. But luckily, that seems to have saved him with the one MG forcing, uh, be forced back with the other one, suppressing the infantry section. Doesn't stop that squad from rifle-grenading this guy. 
and getting a great hit on him, knocking out two models, forcing the unit back. Up north, uh, Saul continues the, uh, or sorry, yeah, uh, sail, sorry, the sail seven, uh, continues to advance pretty damn well. Don't know why I said Saul right there. But anyway, uh, Rudy as well backing him up with his pants great ears. Actually putting down a cache over here, not a terrible idea, because remember, this is a vital position on the map that can essentially cut off a lot of territory. I'm curious on this, but he is placing mines, so why not? Uh, allied forces are being forced back pretty heavily. And let's see, it looks like we have a number of Falshin pioneers just placing mines on the defenses. So if the allies are going to come back, they're going to need sweepers. Otherwise, they're going to lose a lot of men going through minefields. Uh, down further south, British do have a, well, vehicle to heal. So nice med truck. They've upgraded their men with AT rifles, I guess, preparing for the German armor that they suspect is coming. It's six minutes, so maybe you can start seeing some stuff rolling out uh but they have a lot so it looks like any big vehicle plays in mid is really not going to cut it down south again the american forces are still holding we do have a uh, american mortar as well plus again the mgs keeping the germans at bay so marshall's unable to advance good job on train keel for well keeping up the pressure and forcing him uh from uh entering the point so excellent job Let's see, commander-wise, what are we looking at? Marshall is yet to pick. Uh, Boris has gone with mechanized battle group. We got ourselves nothing for Rudy. The Sail 7, we know it Luftwaffe, and says uh, already gotten Falchion Pioneers, so interesting stuff. He hasn't gotten them out, and it looks like he actually lost a squad due to riflemen in the north. I would say this one model, two, something happened. I thought he had two squads, but it looks like he's on the one, so something killed it. Tranquil, uh, Tranquil is going with Special Operations. Curious he hasn't gone with the Weasel. Because usually if you go Special Ops, the Weasel is a very effective unit. So a little bit maybe of a misplay by him. And I say that because, remember, it can heal. It can capture points with uh, additional uh, resources, if you want, with Veteran C. And then natively, it can drop you a Mortar or an MG. So it's really damn cool. Uh, unfortunately, uh... Oh my god, nice strafe on the 4x4, knocking it out. Let's see. And a nice grenade with the false makers will kill that MG. So excellent shot. Indian artillery for Norse. Uh, Big has gone Indian artillery as well. So lots of arty and airborne battle group, which we've seen with the paratroopers and the MG drop. All right, or at the very least the MG drop. I don't think we've seen. Yeah, there's been no paratroopers. All right. By the way, I'm gonna keep going on Marshall as the, my main point, so that way colors and everything remain relatively stable for everybody. That way, it's not like who's what color. It's like okay, we'll keep everything stable. But uh, the American force is slowly being pushed back. But again, the Germans don't have enough to take it. Again, great strafe like, by the sail, but we'll see how things go. British forces are grabbing the munition point. They're slowly uh, being backed up by American forces, grabbing a lot of territory. NMG. Uh, taken lost stuff. This is not the best MG because, again, it has a hard time seeing around the corner, so it's easily flanked. Panzergrenadier is coming on in. They are backed by a medical truck so they can heal. We do have a uh, false shooting pioneer with a grenade launcher, so, hey, we'll see how effective that is. But, again, there's still the MG there, so it's probably going to suppress this guy. Maybe he gets in the building to try to hold his own a little bit longer. Okay, that's exactly what he's doing. Alright. Really surprised we have not seen a lot of armor. We've seen a lot of medical trucks, and, again, good use of them. You want to make sure your guys can heal on the front. But, it, I, I again, I'm just a little shocked we haven't seen anything else. Oh, sorry. What am I doing? No, it doesn't want to... Sh wait, control ship. No, doesn't want to... Okay, no screenshot. Oh, <laughs> cool. All right. Ah, uh, all good. I'll try to figure that out later. But, there we go. Fixed it. But anyway, MG is under mortar fire. Uh, and again... German forces has a decent amount of support equipment. Wait, hold on. Does Boris have any frontline infantry? Okay, he does. It's just all it's just healing. Or off doing its own thing. Wow, rushing on in. Okay. Pushing in for the uh, Indian artillery. I don't think he'll I mean, kill it. But he can at least do something to Oh, never mind. Bundle was actually super effective. AA was focused on the plane, so it wasn't shooting him. Alright. All things considered, they're doing just fine. And the Panzer Grenadier is going to hopefully get the hell out of there before dying. But hey, nice kill. I mean, the, the British will have to bring in a medical truck to heal it or recruit it. Oh, nice hit. I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate that you got hit by a mine. But at least you survived. 
Alright, let's see. Up north, we have a bit more stuff. Oh, hello. Half track, bring in uh, Jaeger squad, so not too shabby. Pl oh, flat for Link 2. Okay. So they have a decent amount of firepower to break through the MG's line and deal with the scattered uh, American infantry kind of pushing on in. Oh, hello. But a Greyhound has appeared, but again, that is AT, so I'm assuming if they focus, they should be okay. There's... Black Verling is pushed back by the Greyhound, but AT rifles are still putting a lot of pressure. And there goes the Greyhound. Again, on paper, it's like, yeah, Greyhound can beat that stuff. No, and now you're going to lose a lot of your men. You lost a Greyhound, you lost rifleman squads. It's not looking great as... Uh, yeah, the man is down to two units and is now have to pump out Emergency Greyhound just to have something on the front. But the North is looking very, very uh, fragile at the moment. Cancels the fighting position to get more manpower. Makes sense. We got to stop building it. We also have uh, another Warfare coming on in. Not the biggest fan because I don't like the fact that the fire can kill units. But it doesn't count as a kill. It, But looks like uh, some added veterancy is going to help this baby out. Uh, again, for... Those who don't know, again, for the Vermok, you can quickly use these uh, uh, stars on different tiers. So you can automatically get veterans with certain units. So it does help out. Um, also helping out is caches. We actually have a number of caches down for the Axis and allies, respectively. Um, looks like the Americans putting one down a little too close for the front, especially with no army. I would rather put it down south or to this point. So that way it's better protection and farther away from the enemy. One thing, though... Uh, that the allies are doing quite well on is victory points. They hold two VPs, so right now they're putting the pressure down on uh, the enemy. So right now, if I had to say who's winning, the allies are definitely in an advantageous position because they're nearly 300 points ahead of the Germans. And it's more like 12 minutes into the game. So it's going to have to be something to another strafe coming in from the Sail 7. Excellent job. Oh my god, that man's almost dead. One shot and... I, I, I believe, like, one shot in that man is gone. Yeah, two health remaining on the MG. If he wasn't being smoked, just one more normal mortar would kill him. But, uh, unfortunately, the uh, half-track's there, so he's going to reinforce. Good grenade, and the uh, squad goes down. Excellent use. We also have a plane coming on in. Is that to reinforce? Does he have a reinforced plane coming on in? That's interesting. I mean, it's automatic heals. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, I, you need probably more than... One guy fighting that to be super effective and give him something other than bazookas. But uh, what do I know? So, uh, again, the Germans need to capture something. And right now they have Falschmakers and Panzergradiers in the back line trying to cause havoc. They have a stew coming on in, but they need the victory point. They need that position. Uh, and again, I'm just not... I'm looking around for any frontline forces. I'm just not seeing anything that can... Well, plane goes down. Uh, probably from the British AA. But... Uh, yeah, nothing to stop all these British forces. So, it's a bit of a tricky situation. And as the Brits continue to get better equipment, like this Bren gun, uh, it's going to be even harder for the Germans to push forward. Unless they get some serious armor. Speaking of which, the Stu D? Eh, would I classify that as serious armor? I mean, it's definitely... It's definitely armor, and it definitely... A Stu D is still a very good unit. So, I, I could see it being effective. But we'll have to see how things go. They're pushing on in. I love the plane crash in the background. That's great. Let's see. Another strafe comes on in. Help weaken the line. British are still holding pretty firm with a number of key units. But again, luckily we do have Rudy coming in from the north. Trying his best. But another Greyhound looks like it's going to make an appearance. Uh, there's still AT. More AT, in fact, with the Pac-38. And it just immediately goes down. Wonderful hit by him. Good coverage. This man is absolutely clowning. I don't know why he's trolling this hard, but building this many caches without a frontline army is not helping your team. You need to actually have a frontline force. Now, it looks like there is a heavier vehicle. In this case, a Matilda rolling on into the enemy lines. So, uh, they're going to need to make sure the Stugs and everything and plenty of AT are there to keep it at bay. Right now, British do have their own AT force to keep away the Stugs. Plenty of frontline infantry, MGs. Um, and even the heavy mortars, which, how many kills have we got? Uh, that's a good question. Three, so not many. Oh, we have a Chaffee as well. The flanking the stew. So good job by Trank Heal. As well, if we can snare it. Uh, I don't know if he already threw the AT grenade or what, but he probably should. Let's see. 
Oh, I don't think he has grenades. I'm gonna... Whatever. Uh, Stug is uh, still in a really bad state. And yeah, uh, Chaffee puts it down. Now trying to blitz out of there. We have another Stug coming on in by Boris. Being the rat he is. Can he get a final shot on the Chaffee? It doesn't look like he'll be the case. Looks like Chaffee is pulling away just fine. And yeah, uh, there's too much uh, allied infantry. He can't dive in further. So unfortunately, the Germans are down uh, three victory points. Again, you have uh, the Sol 7 trying to retake the position out uh, and stopping your Monty from uh, counterattacking. Again, just imagine if your Monty actually had a fighting force. Because remember, with all the caches, he only has four units. None of them frontline. So if he actually had an actually good frontline force, he could probably take this point and contest it a lot more. But uh, he's not. He isn't, and most likely this Greyhound will die again. Uh, we have AT gun trying to assist to drive it away. I'm, I, I'm assuming they place mines across the front. Another straight hits the front. Again, uh, the Sail 7 has done a really good job with those straights and just constantly harassing uh, British positions, killing the MGs and such. Panzer 4 is on the field. Again, it looks like it took some heavy AT hits, so it's heading north. But... I bet you he's going after the Greyhound. He's like, I'm tired of that thing. He dies. <laughs> Greyhound dies tonight uh, is what he's hoping as he goes for it. So, excellent stuff right there. Again, Matilda just trying to clear the infantry. A very good infantry killer. And that doesn't help with the Germans down uh, over 400 points. So, the Axes need to get their shit together and counterattack. Now, luckily, it looks like a North Train Keel is... Uh, Got some kills, don't get me wrong, and it looks like killed the A half track. Another Matilda coming in from Norse, but Stug as well goes down. So I wouldn't say Stug killing, let's say just the A half track is a good trade, especially when they creep through that. And that might be exactly what that uh, American half track uh, does. We have another Warfare coming on in. Again, this one does not have veterancy. He is using fire to great effect and pushing back the one of the MGs. The other one is still on the front. This is where a Mortar, the smoke barrage would be great, but looks like fire comes down on him as well, burning both MGs. Although, maybe not entirely. Looks like medical truck is coming on up to reinforce those pos positions. 45, sorry, uh, we're down 450 points. Uh, 48 points remaining. This is not, this is not looking good for the Germans. Uh, the 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 window is closing. Uh, but luckily, it looks like with the smoke, the Germans should be able to take this, the southern position. And with that, hopefully stop the bleed. But it is very close. Too damn close for comfort. Looks like we have plenty of British weapons scattered about. So I'm assuming they've lost quite a bit of their guns due to strafes and just uh, mortar uh, or no, artillery fire. All right, let's see. Matilda charging in the middle of the lines. Again, unfortunately, I uh, Boris does not have a lot of AT. Thanks to the, uh, his uh, Stug being absolutely KO'd. His forces are retreating. And yeah, it is not looking all that great. Mortar actually, oh my god. Yeah, Matilda just having a good time going behind the lines. Again, we could see a reactionary force. Uh, we have uh, double Panzer IVs that they do need healed, but they could go in and try to assist. I do like the constant strafes. Again, they're trying to keep the Americans at bay. War Nerv sorry, Neville Warfare Fire coming on in, forcing the Americans to retreat. Excellent job. Although, the Matilda of all things is coming in behind lines. I think the uh, Indian Artillery Special, yep, the call-in of strike is going to kill that bunker. They really want the artillery gone, and Matilda puts it down with ease. Again, now the Allies are starting to lose victory points, but it's not good when this Matilda is running freely behind the lines. Uh, Mar Marshall's going to need some assistance. Luckily, it looks like that's going to come in the form of multiple Panzer IVs uh, coming in from all directions. Marshall even bringing his own. All converging on a lone Matilda that is now shell-shocked as it approaches the hill. So Panzers are going to advance up that hill and try to deal with the Matilda at the top. Nebelwerfer still needs to recruit the poor men. But they will advance and try their best. Panzers will push through the smoke. Let's see what happens. There's the Matilda in the background, and the Panzers will appear with pack support going after the Matilda. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Panzers are on the move, 
trying to go for it. Can we get the kill? Otherwise, this Matilda would have run around the Axis lines, making a mockery of that great rear shot on the Matilda. Looks like he's starting to smoke heavy on... Oh, he's really on uh, smoking. Fire in the distance. Panzer IV gets a kill shot on the Matilda, putting him down. Chaffee as well taking the heavy hits. Excellent job across the board. Again, I do like how the effects of the armor allow me to tell where, what type of damage it's at, even if I can't see the health bar. That's a nice, again, nice little touch. Chaffee is injured. Both Panzers are here. Hopefully, he can get some heals. But the ride of those Panzers were absolutely worth it as they advanced. Did a really good job. Now, Matilda, unfortunately, kills the uh, Flak 38, and we have artillery just raining down across the front of the map. Damn it just hitting the German positions. Doc is on the retreat. Uh, meanwhile, German positions are trying to get that victory point under their control, but they just can't. British are in a really good spot to advance and take it. And again, I believe that was, uh, let's see, Norse? Was it a perimeter, uh, perimeter monitor? I think that was it that just was kicking off to like hit the front. So not too shabby. Uh, oh, we actually have British artillery on the front now. Interesting. And uh, looks like another Panzer IV being deployed by someone else on the German side. Uh, let's see. Lots of Matildas. Uh, again, the guy in the north with really no army, so he's going pure defensive. Though he has some AT, so although, again, armor could just go around. Uh, let's see. Tranquil. Uh, having multiple Sherman. Uh, sorry, a Sherman and a Chaffee, so multiple pieces of armor. Uh, so let's see. Right now, this three Panzers. Uh, so three Panzer fours. We got Stuka in a mortar half track, just trying to hit where they can. Axis desperately are trying to hold these positions. Again, they are down to 35 points. It is almost 10 to one. Well, nine to one right now, I guess. Uh, for victory point difference, so they need to hold. Uh, Boris doesn't have much armor, if any. I'm assuming he's saving up for something big, or he lost his armor. Either way, it's not looking good for him. And Marshall is two Panzer IV. So, they have a good amount of medium armor. They're not, again, trying to get the heavy tanks or whatnot. At least not yet. German forces hold. But the British, uh, as well as the Americans, are trying. We have British artillery coming on in. We have American air support. Strafes the front. Uh, forcing them back. Commandos will try to take this position. Artillery just pounding it. Uh, Panzer IV actually takes a direct shot or close to it. But here come the Panzers in the distance coming up the hill. Uh, or about to come up the hill. Uh, there's not a ton of AT here that's designed specifically to counteract a lot like a large grouping. They can take a small amount. But one Sherman, uh, a Chaffee, and a Matilda is not necessarily enough in this position. Uh, especially if these Panzers come around the back. One Panzer IV goes down. Again, they hold that just fine. Without taking any loss. Oh, wait, here comes the artillery. Nice shot from the Panzer IV. It does kill the commando squad. But here come the Panzer III's and the uh, Falsham Pioneers clearing against any mines. And yeah, here come the ride of the Panzers as they advance. Artillery hitting the back line from the Stuka. Great shots across the board. Panzer IV is advancing. We have Stuka's... Look at that strafe! Just amazing stuff right there as the Panzers push against the British position, British position, hitting that Matilda. About to kill it. It is on fire. Stuka's coming in again, strafing the American infantry, killing the Matilda up on the hill. Amazing stuff right there as as well. Just a lot of dead armor. I think it also, yeah. Just clearing the hill in general. Panzers taking very little hits. Two of them advancing with uh, one receiving repairs. Matilda advancing north, but again, I feel like the priority should be in the south. Hit by strafes, the Matilda is now veering toward the, its allied Matilda, which, by the way, Six Pounder may be repositioned to help here. The Germans are just cracking through, uh, no, sorry, breaking through the allied lines with ease. Just great use of air support and combining of uh, armor from different players to come on in and really dive in for that killer blow. What a shot. Again, we saw a number for fire. Germans capturing that position. Putting a three... Oh, well, they will have three to one at this rate. Three to one advantage. AT can re... Or should be repositioning. Matilda as well should engage. Big L is taking an L right now by whole, uh, just chilling out in the back. Unless he was waiting for something specific. We do have a Sherman uh, 76 variant coming on in. So again, the Panzer IV will have a little bit of an issue.
but there's so much infantry and also you still have additional armor on support that they could probably overwhelm that lone Sherman. So he's gonna need numbers to really help him out. Unfortunately, I don't think the, uh, the Ger not the German, sorry, the British or, um, Americans are really in a position for that. We do have paratroopers, nicely done by your Monty, trying to come in to kill the units and take the position. Nice grenade, probably kill the pack. Or bring it down quite significantly. They steal the MG. Okay, cool. You have an MG42. Now what? Uh, the, all the Germans are coming on in. And the Panzer IV is killing you. Okay, that's fun. You got, got, got the pack gun. But uh, he just immediately kills you. It <laughs> just puts you down. It's like, yeah, I'm not having this. But uh, we got two Shermans now approaching the hill. Assuming this one is the one that escaped earlier. Uh, Pants Great Ears need heals. Luckily, there's a medical truck further back. In uh, the northern sector, a lot of Pants Great Ears plus a Panzer IV. Oh, is that the one that the Germans can deploy? I think it is. Uh, as a call it. So we got some heavy artillery, got some strafes. All hitting the British position. Uh, although I think that's Indian artillery. Whatever the case may be, uh, they're not in the best state as the Crusaders trying to help, but. Yeah, you're gonna need to upgun that sucker to help it fight Panzers. And a Panther is on the field by Boris the Rat. That's what he was saving up for. Good to know. Alright, well, he's going on in against the Matilda. Can he get the kill? He will try, anyway. He's about to kill that medical truck. Matilda in hot water. Luckily, there is an AT gun there to assist and cover that Matilda. Never worth for firing very close to the front. As you can see, the rocket's... Coming in around the Matilda. Excellent shots across the board. Alright, and the Axes hold all three victory points. But a major armor push in the north might change things. Sherman's advancing on the Panzers. Pushing on in. They're trying to go for the kill. The Panzers is smoking. And he gets put down. Excellent kill by the American player. Was it your Monty? Uh, now has to face Panzers coming in along the side. Excellent job right there. Four of them coming on in, outflanking and just destroying the American armor and everything they hold dear. They did not have enough firepower to deal with four of these suckers coming on in. They dealt with one, but now also uh, Marshall has himself a Panther. So population-wise, it looks like the Germans are in the lead and the Americans are unable to counter. By the way, remember all these caches up here I said it was a waste because he'd have an army to defend them? Well, he's ha I was half right. He still doesn't have a great army to defend it. But the bigger issue is uh, Rudy just cutting off the territory, which makes all those caches and all those resources the Americans put into that invalid. It just doesn't matter because it's cut off. Now, the remaining... Uh, allied positions are further back. We got some armor trying to scout. I think they'll have some issues if he wants to advance, but overall, uh, the Americans have... No, no, sorry. The Brits have more heavy armor that's not great against armor, and a lighter tank that... It, it's fine. I'm not saying it isn't. I mean, I like... It, its gun is definitely something that can hurt armor, but it's not meant for, like, heavy blows. Not TD, like a Hellcat or a Chaffee. Probably a 17-pounder could be something that could really help against that stuff. Really break the Panzer Force quickly. Again, good kill right here. Again, Rudy's not paying attention, so excellent job. But the problem is the North. Right now, the victory point's under firmly under German control. And even if you fight with everything you got... Wow, really? I can't believe your Monty's actually managed to take that. I'm so, and that was Tranquil. That Tranquil that pushed earlier, not your Monty. So I messed that up. It's Jover allied bros. Yeah, you're not wrong. Allies are definitely not in a great position. And here comes the air support once again, strafing the front, hitting the uh, chafe, uh, Chaffee, forcing them back. Which is not a good position to be in. Not at all. Artillery rains down fire. All right, and again, uh, they have one position weirdly in the north. I can't believe this guy is act I Again, I, I apologize. My apologies for mixing up with the southern guy, but I'm surprised he was even able to take this. I'm assuming just most of the guy's army was in a different position, so uh, the Sail 7's like, uh, I can't really support. So that's an issue right there. 
AT guns charging in. They really want that point, but it's, it doesn't matter. You need another one. And right now, the British are trying, but they can't even get close to the victory point. Their armor is just not suited. I mean, it's good against infantry, but now you have Panthers on the field. So you need, you need something that's designed to kill Panthers. And a Crusader is not one of them. Okay, AT gun can definitely help. If, nope, both bounce. Amazing stuff. British artillery about to fire in this position. Force the enemy back. More British artillery. Again, they're trying to force the Germans off the position to try to take it. But again, it doesn't matter with the northern point now under their control. Again, we have commandos hitting with bazookas. One Sherman, but again, two Panthers. It's like, what are you doing? These guys also uh, throw, uh, you know, anti grenades on you. It's it's not good. You're not a good position to be in. Again, lots of Matildas, but you need something with more firepower. At least they'll protect against all this infantry. All right, Panthers uh, pulling back. Taking a number of hits, at the very least, for engineers to manage to capture that territory. But again, the key issue is the simple fact that even if they grab it, it's not going to stop the victory point. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, one drop is not going to do anything. Hate to break it to you. A nice strafe causes uh, havoc for the Matilda, weakening it further. With artillery in the back, killing a lot of forces. Excellent. Oh my lord, look at the artillery just pulverizing what's left in the British position. We have a lot of uh, good lucks, GG's. Uh, so, all right, well played. At least the allies are being uh, positive. Might be able to kill a Panther, but as soon as those Panther force come in, it's uh, GG. Like, what the, what do you do against that? It, nothing, you, you don't do anything, because it's just too much. The Sherman's trying to grab it. It's like, yeah, buddy. Uh, I'll give credit. The allies are technically... Um, oh, no. They managed to stop the bleed, but that will be like a second longer. And then the Germans will take it back over. Commando's trying to help, but they just don't have the firepower to kill. Hold on, AT grenades might do enough? Oh, it's so low. They have one additional shot from Bazooka. They would kill it. The Panzer Four is also dragging a man home through the treads. Excellent. Look at that. No man left behind. Uh, okay, never mind. He's leaving them behind. All right. This could be an issue if the Americans get on it. Again, he's grouped up, so it's easier to kill all the troops. Uh, DX, hey, hello there. Hopefully you're enjoying the game. But again, middle is now being taken over. So yeah, the axes are definitely, it's swung in their favor. And fire on the way out as well, burning them alive. Just not a way to go. Again, too bad the number warfare doesn't get those kills, so it's essentially worthless with that veteran seat. Unless, you know. Oh, that's unfortunate. But uh, overall, a uh, great game. I thought this was a fantastic game overall. Again, definitely a uh, weak player up north. You're, although, even your Monty still managed to get some decent hits in, right? He still managed to do something. Trace trying to stop it, but yeah, it's gonna be decapped. Again, Axis did, I mean, they were brought down quite a bit. Allies, ho wait, hold on. Hold on a second. What is happening? Okay, they dropped a Falschmiger squad. You're trolling, are you? This can't be. They're actually, okay, they're decapping it. This is way closer than I thought it was gonna be. I hope with P-47s coming in. Buddy, that's not how that works. Oh, if you want to drop the paratrooper squad on faster, maybe? I'll, I'll give credit. The Axis uh, were brought down to eight points. I didn't think the Allies could do that. I thought this was just going to be simple GG, but they did bring him down a bit further. But that was the last gasp. Here come the Panzers up north, just mowing down all the infantry. They have all the positions covered. Matilda being taken out. And that is GG. That's absolutely a GG. All right. Double checking the sale top kills for the Axis. By the way, thank you very much to the sale seven for submitting this replay. I thought it was damn good. Uh, also top damage. Uh, best KD, I would probably, actually I'd still probably go with you. Um, now on the allied side, we can see your Monty was the worst. I, I'll be honest, I don't know what he was doing half the time. But uh, I will say the best player it looks like was Big L, which is a little surprising. Um, I thought it would be Tranquil, but he lost a lot. 
of his forces. So maybe, again, it, from appearances, like, oh, yeah, he's advancing. But, again, he just didn't have good coverage and was just more sacrificing units. But I guess Big L does sort of make sense if you think about that consistently in mid, the British were holding their own. And he was in a very advantageous position to just help whoever he needed to. Um, and also kind of hold back a lot of the counterattacks because Boris the Rat was coming on in, but again, was easily deflected. Plus add in like all Boris's and Rudy's forces that were also killed, like the Stug and stuff. And I can definitely see how Big L and even Norris uh, did pretty damn well. But yeah, that's going to be it uh, for this game. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Again, I thought this was a fantastic Co3 battle uh, and replay. Um, <laughs> Again, thank you, man. Uh, he's in chat right now, so the Sol 7. Thank you again. Uh, this was a solid game. So, uh, let... Or the Sail 7. Jesus, I keep saying the Sol. The Sail, the Sail, the Sail. Anyway, uh, let, again, if you want to support the channel, please follow and subscribe on Twitch. Subscribe and, uh, you know, maybe a channel member on YouTube. But whatever you do, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17, and before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters, Joey G240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.